What's up, guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and uh, I'm here with the new review. Today, we have the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker official artworks, right? Um, I love the Metal Gear franchise, okay? Right? I've been kind of saving the Metal Gear books, right? Because I love them so much, because I want as many people to see it as possible. You get what I'm saying? Right. But, uh, yeah, like there's my friend, you know, I was wondering, you know, I was thinking earlier, like, hey, you know, what what book should I do? And my friend, he just randomly said naked snake out of nowhere. Right. And I was like, well, there you go. There's the and, he, and like I asked him why he said that. And he said, like, I don't know. I just said it. Right. And I'm like, OK, well, there you go. There's my answer. There is the the book for today. Right. <clears throat> and uh, I don't have a Metal Gear Solid 3 book, which is a, you know, a damn shame. Right. But I do have the Peace Walker book. Right. Which is, uh, you know, the next best thing, I guess. Right. So. Do I recommend this book? Yes, obviously. Right. Um, especially because um, I feel like this book was uh, designed by Yoji Shinkawa. Right. And I am a huge fan. Uh, Shinkawa fan, right? I love his work. His work is so inspirational. It like it just fucking like it, like that plus Metal Gear Solid and the aesthetic just like it was it, it created legend. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, dude? Like this franchise is legendary because of that union between Kojima and Yoji Shinkawa. You know, and like every of course, like you know everybody who made the game and the music as well. But like you know, to like the guy who made the image for Metal Gear, like just whoa like was yoji man you know right and you know he he takes really good care in what he creates right and i think he created this art book right because it says by yoji shinkawa right so i'm assuming that he helped create this right not not just create the art but like make, design the book right so you know i'm very excited to take a look inside right um so yeah um do i recommend it yes obviously get it right um the thing with these Japanese books is they, you know, over time will get more expensive. So I'm sure at this point, this book is uh, pretty pricey, right? I, I'll, I'll probably have no doubts about that, right? Um, as you can see, right, um, the price for the book alone, like from the base price was, let me go get the good lens, was uh, 45 bucks, right? Which means that Obviously, it's going to be way more now, right? Because it's been a couple of years, right? And uh, Metal Gear Solid shit gets fucking pricey, man. You know? Right? So, <clears throat> uh, with that said, right? It's going to be expensive, right? But are you to like the book? If you're a fan, hell yeah. You know? Um, if you're just a fan of art books, I think so as well, right? Um, I, I think Peace Walker was a fantastic game. I spent a shit ton of hours in it, right? And the art is fantastic too, especially because um, it's a lot, it's featured a lot in the cinematics, right? So, um, with that said, right, uh, I think that's the end of the uh, review portion. Get this book. I recommend it, definitely, right? Um, the price is going to be steep. Not going to lie. Not, not going to lie. It's going to be steep. But is it worth it? You know, yes. Obviously, right? Yoji Shinkawa does a fantastic job. If you're a fan of his work, you know, get this book, right? Or um, there's a new thing, right, where they have all of the Metal Gear Solid art, like, you know, all of the series, right, combined. Uh, I also have that, but I'll review it later because it's huge, right? Um, but uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, uh, definitely, uh, if you're thinking about this book, you know, um, try to get try to get the collection right because it also has Peace Walker stuff right. It might be a better deal, and you're gonna get way more art, right? But if you're contemplating this book in particular, you know, well, we could take a look inside and figure out if you want it, right? So um, that ends the review portion, right? Okay, definitely recommended. Um, so now let's go to. The JoJo update, right? Here we go. Today he's being a good boy. He was scratching me like crazy earlier. But today he's a... Oh, he's a little guy, right? He's doing okay. 
right? I'm lucky. He's, he's, he's a little tired, right? He might be active in a bit, right? So uh, with that done, let's, uh, let's dig right in, okay? I basically want to, you know, capture him as he, like, grows up, right? Because he's still young, right? So you'll, you'll so every day you'll get to see him uh, get a little bit bigger, right? So uh, back to it, right? Here we go. Yoji Shinkawa presents. There we go. All right. I'm sure this was made by a lot more people, but I think he definitely had a hand in it, right? Especially with, you know, obviously the artwork, right? Here we go. First image. We already got some great art, right? We got Snake's face, right, with this uh, kind of with ink and like bendy dots, right? If you ever know what bendy dots are, they're like the little, these little, uh, here, let me, uh, there you go. Yeah, these little, these little dots right here, they're called bendy, bende dots, right? It was something used in the 80s, right? It's really cool to, it kind of creates like a nice gray, right? Here you go, table of contents, right? Yep. There you go, chapter one, official art. So this, um, I believe, is a promotional art made made by Yoji. Right? Let's uh, let's move that over here. Right? Look at that. Come on, stupid ass highlight! Get out of here. Yeah, look at that. Your boy, Mister Knocked Snake himself. Right? Let's get this. There you go. Here we go. We have like a we have a nice splash page, right? With a uh, with snake cause and some uh, some MSR troops, right? Or MSF, sorry. Here we go. Boom, dude! Wow, look at that. His art is just so expressive, man. Like this is clearly like white on top of a, a black uh, thing, like a black canvas, right? Here we go. One of the big promotional arts. Damn. Ooh. Sexy, dude. Yoji's work. God damn. Ooh. Sexy. Here you go. Oh yeah. We got we got big boss. Big bossin. Right. Metal gear in, dude. Look at that fucker, dude. We got paws, right? I also love the way Yoji draws women too. It's just so fucking good, you. Ah, ah, so good. Delicious, yeah. Look at that, so cute, dude. Yoji be on that next level, you know. Here we go. We have a real pause, and then we got a little, we got a little sexy shot of paws, right? Don't worry, she's actually 22 in the game. She lies about her age. God damn it. Alright, we got a case of bad binding here. That's a shame, because uh, it's really cool. Let's see. Yeah, I can't do nothing about that. Oh yeah, here we go. These are the um you know, more realistic renderings of a uh, of Big Boss, right? Oh yeah, look at him. Boss. Look at him, dude. Oh yeah, here we have the uh Monster Hunter collab, right? Yeah, we have him in his heavy armor. It's fucking cool. Yeah, of course he'd be wearing heavy armor against fucking Tigrex, man. Or Tigrex, however you call it. Whatever, you, whatever his name is, dude. Oh, yeah. I should get the Monster Hunter book. You know, I'm a huge Monster Hunter guy because I've, I've been playing World a lot, right? Oh, yeah. Here we go. We have... um. Different realistic snake renders with his different outfits, right? Let me hold up. Let me uh, let me adjust the stupid ass light. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Am I gonna edit that out? Fuck no. Okay. We you know how it is here. Nineteen seventeen, one shot, baby. Okay. Here we go. 
Yeah, we got Snake in uh, realistic renderings, right? Oh, yeah. In his, uh, his uh, standard uh, fatigues, right? We got the stealth suit, and we got the, um, the heavy armor suit, right? Really cool designs. We have a big boss with a... This almost looks like Cause, man. You know, from now that Metal Gear Solid 5 has come out, he's got that yellow scarf. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yoji's work, man. It's just so like, ooh, boom. You know, it's like a dance, man. Ooh. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow. Tell you, man. There you go. You got his. Uh... Yeah, you know, with this, it kind it kind of looks like a like a sexy suit. You know what I mean? Right. Nothing wrong with that. Cause Snake, dude, look. Cause he's sexy, dude. Boom, dude. Cause Snake, dude, look at that, dude. Look at that boy. He's a sexy snake, dude. Oh yeah. I love the shapes. You know, it's like it's like it's like you know, it's like you could see the shapes clearly, right? It's like kind of like a like a like a we call it like a weird like uh, rhombus kind of shape, you know, like you know, it's, you, you can see it repeated, like you know, that's his shape, you know. Oh yeah, it's crazy that Yoji did so many of these designs, man. Come on, fucking, there you go. Into the light. Sorry, dude. This book is uh, it's fighting me. And this camera is fighting me. But we're going to win the day, boys. There we go. Look at that. Wow. You got the bottom of the boot. That's fucking... That's a cool-ass detail. Come on, camera. Stop fighting me today, man. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. I think that's Jaeger. That's Frank Jaeger. Or, uh... Or, uh, one of the, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Frank Jaeger, I think. Yeah, we have a uh, snake's like suit design, right? So fucking cool. I love how it's like a good design, but also just like a fucking cool ass drawing, right? That's what you want out of out of art, right? Yeah, this reminds me of a uh, Raiden skull suit, you know. So you can almost see like Raiden's hair here. Wow, look at that. I wonder if they did a um. There's a... What's that? Portable Ops? I wonder if they did a, an art book for Portable Ops. Yeah, we got Snake's Heavy Suit. Right? That. Ooh, sexy. These drawings, man. Ooh, and you, we got the Cyber Ninja, like, thing. You know? His, oh, my God, dude. It's so cool. Dude, why did they keep this, man? Did they not use? Did they use this? This is cool. Wow. Damn, dude, like a metal hit, dude. Why does that? Why is that not existing already? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. The boss, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. His use of negative shapes, dude. Look, his leg isn't even there but you know it is okay you know that just using his shadow right you could plant that leg right you know it's there right even without the rest of it oh my god so good look at him it's your boy it's your boy snake look at that 
Come on. Wow. Every one of these drawings, man. They have so much, you know, fluidity to them. You know, so much. And there's, like, design. And there's, like, you know, I... I um, Yoji used to be a fashion designer, apparently, right? And you could see how that, like, you know, affects the way he uses fabric, like, how he poses the characters, how they're, like, a little bit extra tall, right? Because uh, usually fashion designers, they, they draw with nine heads, right? But yeah, like, all, all of that, like, came together to, you know, form how Yoji draws things, right? Yeah, here we go. We have, uh, we have cause, right? Three rendering, right? Your boy, right? Ja uh, ja Fiddle, right? Mr. Fiddle himself, right? Before he became Edgelord, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of people have been complaining about how, how I say right a lot. And I'm like, if you don't like it, it's like, it's, it's <laughs> you're going you're to have a hard time on my fucking content, right? Yeah, it's just one of my speech impediments, man. You gotta, you're gonna, you're gonna have to deal with that, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, he kind of looks like Johnny Bravo a bit in this shot, right? Look at that. I like Yoji's use of baggy pants. It, it just really creates a cool silhouette, right? You know, in this one, he kind of looks like he has like a like a Gara gourd, you know, right? But I know it's it's just his uh his uh coat. Yeah, just going back a bit. Oh yeah, we got pause, right? The spy. Spoilers. My name is Peace. Okay. It's always the cute ones, man. It's always the fucking cute ones that'll get you, man. Oh yeah. Nice. I love her red, like her red riding hood, like, you know, theme, right? So cool. Oh. Here we go. And Yoji, my boy, you know, he ain't afraid to draw sexy shit, right? So he's always gotta always gotta draw. Different iterations, right? You got the schoolgirl, right? Schoolgirl casual, right? Uh, I think this is like her in the rain. Yeah, or her like with the coat. Her boot design, her uh, shoe design. Oh, it's, it's cool. It is a boot. Nice. Yeah, it's like a rain boots, right? We have a drawing of each side of her face. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's not like it's just mirrored. More more uh, school outfit possibilities, right? I think they went with the other one because it had like a little touch of red, right? Yeah. Her uh, red riding hood raincoat. Try to say that five times fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can. I, I know you guys are looking to the right. Just uh, but just give this image a second. You know, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Now, to the sexy shit. You know, <laughs> what the boys were all waiting for. Look at that. This reminds me of a uh, quiet's outfit, right? Yeah, this is when she uh, when she betrays you, dude. When. When she's at her sexiest, dude, she betrays you, man. Ain't that how it is? Look at that. Wow, what a great drawing. Wow. Sexy. Remember, guys, she's 22. We're all good. No FBI warnings here, dude. Let's see. Yeah, dude, that fucking Russian spy, dude. Look at her. I like this outfit. This is cool. Kind of wish I'd use this. Oh, oh, Snickersama. Oh, 
The snake of summer. Snake of summer. Damn, dude. They all want the snake sama, dude. Are you snake? Wow, look at this drawing. It's so fucking cool. Oh man, there's such a I don't know, man. Yoji, a master, man. Master. Like I wonder who his inspirations were, man. Look at that. We have um Ama Amanda, right? Oh yeah. The strong woman, right? The like Meryl Meryl 2.0, you know. Look at her. Uh, the leader of the Sandinistas. Right. Yeah, I like her. I like her uh, her vibe, you know. I'm strong woman even though I'm not Russian. Not saying that uh all women, all Russian women are strong. Okay, that's that's not true. That's wrong. All all Russian women are fucking. <laughs> they all could kill bears, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. I love the the smoke whistles. You know, it seems it makes it feel so real, right? I'm like, whatever happened to her? I think they said something like Metal Gear Solid Five, but. I can't remember. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, your boy Chico, the little soldier, little soldier himself. I like the the motif of the 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 green and the yellow. Yep, there's Chico, little soldier. There he is. We got Hal, right? The man who uh, caused the Manhattan incident. Manhattan Project. I could never escape these nukes! My family! Yeah. Honestly, like... This guy is a fucking piece of shit, dude. Okay. Not in this game, but in the next game. You know, you guys know. If you played five, you know. Fucking Huey, dude. I trusted you! We trusted you! Damn. Oh, uh, we have a uh, Cecile, the uh, the bird watcher girl. That's like, oh, I'll give you information about the, the the wild, you know. It's like we just need more female characters, man. Yoji, do your thing, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we got a girl who's you know not afraid of the jungle. You know what I mean? Not afraid to get a little dirty, right? Ooh, Yoji, my boy. I love how you draw badass shit and you draw sexy shit, dude. Badass, sexy. Sometimes badass and sexy. All right. There's the model, apparently. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have a uh, strange love, right? Doctor Strange Love. Yeah, I I also like her, you know, her red design. It's so cool, man. Dude, the red, dude. That's like I'm I, I work with the Russians, dude. God damn, it was right in front of our face, dude. Pause was a Russian, dude. 
Da, da svidanja. Yeah, look at that. I thought she was a great character, right? And then fucking Huey, piece of shit. Hate him. Oh, yeah. This is a doorknob. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, this camera. Fighting me so hard today. Come on. There you go. Yeah, we got Zadornov, right? Yo, I always was under the impression that Snake took Zadornov's hand, right? But they're just like, oh no, we built a new prosthetic, you know. Maybe they just use Zadornov's like as a as a reference, right? As a guide, right? Because it looks exact. It looks very, very similar. Yeah, see, I, I, I guess it's not exactly the same, right? Because you could see the, the minor differences. Maybe they just used it as a base for how they made theirs, right? Oh, yeah. Those Ruskis. Yeah, so... I, think that's, I have no idea who this is. I think this is a Dronov. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Coldman. What's his name? Ice Coldman? Fuck this guy, dude. Yeah. The American. He, he reminds me of Skullface, you know? They could have easily made this guy Skullface. Oh, yeah. Homo human... Pomoni lupus. <laughs> He's got lupus, dude. Oh, yeah. The man in black, dude. Always good imagery, you know. Something about a, a bald man with a hat and a black suit, dude. Oh, yeah. Got a guy with a nice Hitler stash, right? I think these are like the the people who are working in the in the U.S. embassy and shit, right? Oh yeah. We have um. The leader of the Sandinistas who uh, who dies like you know b before the, the 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 start of the game, right? Yeah, you see him, and uh, Amanda and Chico, right? Yep, I guess these are little different designs for the Sandinista soldiers, right? Oh, yeah. We have a snake in a sneaking suit, right? But with a... Is that a female suit? Oh, yeah, it's got titties, dude. Yeah, we got the female and male, right? I thought that was male. Huh. But yeah, dude, nice fucking suits, man. Sorry. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is when you play as the as the uh, the different uh, MSF soldiers, right? Yeah, the heavy suit. Yeah, see, see, this book has got a lot of the binding is very strong, right? Which is good and also bad. In 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 some regards, right? Yeah, this is when they're like in their naked suit, right? Oh yeah. I get the. I, I guess this is the one with the shirt with a tank top and then with the tits out, you know, like uh, what we call it kill a kill style, right? Oh yeah. I like that the Japanese aren't afraid of sexy shit, you know? It's like, it's like, yeah, dude, it's sexy. What's wrong with that? There's, there's a charm to it, you know? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Um, more, more suit designs, the helmet design, right? The balaclava design, right? I like how they have their own brand of balaclava, right? Makes it seem more professional. 
All right, we got the soldiers. We have the more elite soldiers, the snipers. Here we go. Yeah, these are the enemies, right, that you could face, right? We got the heavy enemies. Oh, yeah. Nice stuff, man. Look at that. Look at that helmet, man. That's fucking cool, man. Reminds me of, um, reminds me of Hunk from, uh, from, uh, the Resident Evil series, right? Um, yeah, these are just like the, the, the regular patrol soldiers, right? That you see out all the time, right? Yep. There they are. Man, dude, when the the Fulton system, man, like back when it was like small, man, crazy stuff. Such a cool idea. I'm glad they they expanded upon it in Mega Solid Five, but wish that game was like better narratively, you know, personally. Oh yeah, more heavy armor soldiers, right? Oh, this is a cool like like you know design. Like you could see it coming down. Nice. Yeah, the. I was okay. I thought it was like, like something else, not just like a clear lens, but whatever. Yeah. Um, this is. The elite soldiers, right? I like how they still wear a beret, right? The elite Russians. Yeah, you can see the CCP. In their uh. On their uniforms. The Spitznaz. I don't know who this is. Oh, these are the prisoners, right? Yeah, the war prisoners. Oh, yeah. Yeah, clearly, clearly, like, colored, right? So you could be like, oh, these these are these are people I could easily just recruit. There you go. Mechanics. We have the, um... What is it called? The pupa right yeah they went with like the like insect names right yeah this is like the the peace walker pod in like different forms right i remember the first time i fought this thing was really fucking annoying but then after that it kind of became easier right look at that really cool design They should really remaster this game again, so that you can play it on like PS4 and shit. You know, cool stuff. Sorry guys, this like I said, the biting's fighting me, and I only have one hand. Oh yeah, we have the uh, chrysalis, right? I could tell because there's, there's a name here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like actually remembering all this shit. Wow, this is a, oh wow. Wow, look at that. Like, I, I know it's the two, but I'm like, imagine if this was just like one like big helicopter thing. That would be a really cool design. Yeah, this is cool. It's got the two the two wings and like the, the fucking big ass rail gun, you know. Oh yeah. Here we have it like kind of broken down, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is how it's it, it the the landing gear, right? How it comes out, right? Broken up. Yeah, I like how they have this breakdown of each part, right? This is where the missile silos are, right? The the gun, the big ass rail gun, right? Yeah, and then like these are the, the little. Little pods with a machine gun, right? That that you could attack on the side, right? And his and their their grapple hook, which you know, like grapples you and like drags you and shit, takes your gun, I think sometimes. Yeah. Oh, this is the cocoon, like the big fortress one. This one's cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, this giant fortress. This was a fun boss fight. It has like a flamethrower underneath and like this this one saw that's just like, I'm gonna go fucking everywhere, dude. I love how it's like like you sized, right? So it's like, yeah, 
I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you with this knife. I'm gonna get you with this tiny. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stick you. I'm gonna stick you. Nice. Yeah, we got an overtop view. And here we go. The Peace Walker, baby, right? Damn. Look at it. In all of its glory. We have like a, I guess, a red version. And this is maybe another prototype. Or, 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 or when it's on its hind legs, right? Yeah, this is all fours. This is a really good design. Very memorable. Right? Not as like, you know, not as big as the, not as memorable as the Metal Gears, you know, but, uh, give me a second. Yeah. Okay. One cut, baby. One cut. No, actually, sorry. No cuts. One shot. There we go. There we go. Now my phone's charging again. Yep, the underside of the Peace Walker, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I guess this is the helicopter carrying the legs, right? Yeah, we have some more mechanical kind of uh, drawings right here. Really, really cool stuff. A lot of bips and bops, you know, and you know how I like bips and bops, dude. You know, everywhere. Oh, yeah. We have uh, Metal Gear Zeke, right? Who uh, Paz will later uh, pilot in her uh, sexy suit, right? <laughs> when she's at her most dangerous. It's a cool design. I like the color, right? I like how they take the, the, the yellow and it's like, oh, well, I, I'm flipping it on you. You know, you thought we were good, dude. The first the first time you meet me, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm going to destroy your ass, dude. I'm going to betray your ass, dude. Yeah. It has like the, like the weird, like nuclear head thing. Right. Gun head. Right. Cool. Yeah, we have pause in her, uh, in her uh, C thing, right? Or, or like, it floods the chamber, right? Uh, with water, and then she, I guess, she has to breathe inside. AI tower. Yeah, the the boss is in here, right? The the recreation of the boss. That's fucking snake up hard, dude. Is my mother figure there? Damn. Yeah. Okay, we have the inside of the AI pod. You know, when he's like, when you're taking out the piece, like, ch, ch, ch. Damn, dude. Yeah, we have um the different trucks, right? And the, I guess the different license plates, right? Oh, yeah. We got a, I guess it's like a surveillance van, you know, because it has like the, the tower, right, for communication. You know, it, it kind of looks a little discreet. It's armored, right? Yeah, you can see the inside. It has a whole bunch of like servos and shit. Servers, rather. Look at that. Yeah, this is just mechanical design, right? Very simple, scribbly stuff, right? But it, it reads so well. Like something about the shapes looks so good. Look at that. Looks flawless and yet so effortless at the same time. And so wild. Is it oh my god, it's just his artwork, man. Yoji Shinkawa, man. legendary in so many things dude and then just packages it in his own original style that just wow just wow i don't know who the, i don't know what this baby's doing here but wow my middle gear oh i guess it's like your baby you know 
You see him grow up. Yeah. I guess these these are the initial stages of like, oh, you could build your own Metal Gear, you know? Right? To fuck you to fuck you up. Yeah, we have the different Metal Gears, right? We got a Peace Walker again. This is cool, such a cool design. They got the pupa again, right? Side view. Yeah, I think Yoji did like almost all the art in for this game. That's just one man. We got the tanks, right? Wow. Yeah, this is like I guess this is like the early iterations of the fortress, right? Yeah, this is like a helicopter design with like dual dual uh helic dual blades at the top. Oh yeah, backgrounds. We have the uh the actual MSF base, right? The uh the the oil the oil rig or oil shell, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this is the um Control center, right? Mother base. Here we go. Look at that. I think this is like some kind of like shooting range or something. Yeah, kind of like laying out how the structure looks, right? Oh, this is like the beginning of the game where you first meet uh, Zdornov, right? And pause. The choice is between loyalty to one's country or loyalty to oneself. Damn. Here we have like the little Japanese thing. Yeah, this is like the scene in when they're when they're playing the uh, the footage or the the sound for boss right that like triggers him. It's like not ah, the boss, snake. The boss is supposed to be dead. No, oh, I'm a snake. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, look at that. A base design, right? I think this is like the base to the Sandinistas, right? This is like the initial MSF base before they go out into the oil shell. Right? Here we're finding the Sandinistas, right? Yeah, CQC down over there. Look at that. Yeah, that was like planning out the, the screenshot, right? Really cool background designs. I don't know if Yoji did this either. You did this too, but they're fucking good. You know, just painted, you know. Even loosely, it's it's still good. It's reading. Look at that. A different um Oh yeah, yeah, this is when you're like going up the mountain and then you you're trying to get into the base, right? Reminds me of Mega Solid 5 a lot. Just environment stuff, right? I don't know the fuck this is. I guess this is a heliport, right? Opens up. Oh my god, this reminds me of Death Stranding like crazy. This is Death Stranding, dude. It was already already foretold years ago. This chamber with boss written. What is that? Oh, this is like, oh, where you would put a boss, I guess. Without the environment. Or, or without the boss being actually there, right? Uh, some kind of chamber? Oh, no, no, it opens up. Yeah, this is the pupa. This is the pupa boss fight area, right? Where it comes out and you're like, you know, you have like the little little areas you could hide in, right? With ammo and shit. Yeah, this is the way out, I think. Or the way in with all the trucks, right? When you find a howl, and he's like, you know, doing his howl thing, hacking. Or sorry, not howl, Huey. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of the, uh, you know, uh, we call it Native American, not not Native, like the Native, like, is it Mayan, Aztecs? I don't know. I don't know what's, what's over in that area. But like, basically, like Indian architecture, right? Not Indian, but you know what I mean. Uh, Native Central American we got the horse. We have Strange Love's lab, where she has the where she's uh you know, hanging out with the AI pod, right? 
trying to communicate, trying to see if it is, it actually is the boss, right? Oh yeah, we have the uh, chrysalis again with some. This seems more like promotional art, right? But this is fucking cool. Look at that. Wow. Wow! 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 Look at that. Like some kind of like Aztec maze, right? I love that you fight him inside of this, like in like these ruins, you know. So like it's a mixture of technology with like ancient, you know, shit. Oh yeah. I think this is a Peace Walker again, like the the garage facility where you find him, right? Yeah, this is when he first comes out. Yeah, it's still under wraps, you know, still being built. Oh yeah, we have the strange love torture scene where she tortures Snake, right? You gotta match that triangle button. It's like, oh, Snake's been through this again, dude. He's been th he's been through some shock therapy before, you know. Ain't nothing to him, dude. Yeah. Here we go. We got a inside of the factory 3D model of the factory. Uh, I think this is, is this the final area? All right, this is chapter four stuff, apparently. I haven't played this game in a long time. So you gotta bear with me. Yeah, this is like the final area where where you're fighting the Russians. And they got like the heavy armored troops and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember this. I remember this. Yeah. More uh, storage design, right? This doesn't this this looks like it was a uh, built in what do you call it this is like three D uh, engine right now, um yeah some staircases just a established mood and lighting right, um this is like a shot from in, within the game right from the cutscene right the elevator. The cutscenes in in this game by the way are some of the best uh, I've seen because of the the style of it you yeah. know, right oh wow look at this so advanced. Cool stuff. <clears throat> right. Oh, we have the final area where uh, you fight uh, Peace Walker. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember what that is. I think that's where, like, you know, the people are, like, the, the people who are plotting against you. Right. Yeah, we got Peace Walker. And look how small Snake is, dude. Tiny. Right, he's got his RPG man, an RPG and a dream, dude. Okay, and Snake is a man who fulfills his dream. Here you go, artist demo. All right, these are like the cutscene stuff, right? Which is really like all like such a such a great addition to this game. You know, like oh, we can't do complicated cutscenes. Fuck this shit. We're gonna just do a bunch of drawings, right? And tell the story that way, right? So cool. Boom, take the tape. It's mine. Here we go. It's coming in. Stick you up, boy. He doesn't realize. Grab, dude. Done. Here we go. You guys should really play this game, man. It's a it's a cl classic, dude, for the PSP. One of the one of the reasons why you got a PSP, man. Oh, oh shit. Look at that! Look at that drawing. So expressive, man. Wow. I think um. I don't know if this was done by a. Uh, Yoji or, or a, uh, Ashley Wood, right? I think Ashley Wood, either did um. I think he either did this and pers uh, and portable ops, or this is Yoji. And then, uh, we call it, well, Ashley Wood only did, uh, Portable Ops. I'm not sure. Can't remember. But, uh, yeah. Ashley Wood, you know, uh, I love his work, too. You'll, you'll, you guys will see that soon. All right. Oh, yeah. Foosh, they got the boss, dude. Look at this cool-ass drawing, man. The only thing we could believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. Damn. <laughs> Look at these paintings, man. They're so... Ooh. 
they get me, man. Like, so much motion, so much, like, it's so loose, but so, like, there. It's like, oh, wow. You got these little, these cool little quotes right here. Damn. Boom, rushing in there. Yeah, we got Peace Walker. Damn. Look at Coleman's smile, man. Look at Zadornov, man. We got Paws. Oh, yeah. I think this is after uh, he shut down. Yeah, he shut down uh, Peace Walker. Yeah, we have Snake. Freaking standing triumphantly, right? As he beat it. And, and walks into the sea. And then, boom. Major Zero, right? And we got... Pauses betrayal, right? She's like, she's like, that's it, dude. It's time to expose myself, physically, and to my allies. Okay, as a spy, the water rushes and the peace sign is the V of victory. Say peace, damn. Listen to me, big boss. As long as your army is needed. The world will never know through peace. Then boom. Done, dude. Damn, dude. This is this is heavy after you've played five. Are you asking me out, doctor? Yeah, I think these are um these are kind of like a uh, early uh, early sketches before they uh, committed to making the final drawing, right? Yeah, these are just like storyboards. Look at that snake just like ooh going in, dude. I think carrying someone. I don't know. No, no, no he uh, he uh, he covers Chico. Look at that, so cool. Boom, damn. Come on. Come on. I hate this fucking... This phone doesn't like to, to capture things that are really small, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh. Look who it is, who came to interrupt. Oh, it's Jojo. Oh, hold up. Get the wipe. It's Jojo. He's on my shoulder right now. Ooh. Claws out. Yep. Oh, who's a Jojo? Yeah, so he's uh, he's staring at the art book too. Right. Oh, and he's piercing my shoulder. Let's go back to the close shot. All right. So... We got uh, we got more uh, images, right? More storyboards. I I love this shot of pause. This this drawing has so much flair and energy, right? And it's sec it's a little bit sexy, you know, right? It's got everything you want, man. Such a cool shot. Yeah. Damn, dude. Wow. Here we go. I think this is more uh. Yeah, more cutscene stuff, right? Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. I think this is like the intro and how it starts. You start with the logo and then you enter the uh, the, the the shack where you see Snake and Zdorinov talking, right? Snake's having that big old puff, dude. <sighs> Contemplating, dude. Life, dude. That. Oh yeah, we've gone to the other half of the book, so the book's gonna start fighting again. Oh yeah, more pause shit, right? And then you have the the X-ray vision, right, where you can see your undies, right? Don't worry, dude. 
Legal lolly, right? Oh yeah, here you go. Other works. I think this is a. Oh yeah, this is a this is like a Monster Hunter version of a Metal Gear Rex, right? It's just it's a Gear Rex, <laughs> no metal, right? Look at that. That's so cool. I'm surprised this isn't in the actual uh, in Monster Hunter. Like maybe it is, you know, because they rendered it and everything, right? I wish they put this in Monster Hunter World. I'd love to fight this. And then you get like a snake skin with the event, right? That'd be cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, keep in mind JoJo's still on my shoulder. He's just he's just peeking. He's just just having a looky loo, right? Look at him. What's what's happening right here? What's happening right here? Look at him. Yep. We got Ray. This is oh I think this may be like a like a Ray monster version, right? Oh we have the here we go. We have everybody's faces, man. You know, for the for when you're talking and shit, right? And how they appear inside of the, the game, right? Look how many fucking drawings this must have been, dude. Wow. For all the different soldiers you can get, right? Each one of them has a personal uh little little portrait for them. Right? Really cool stuff. Yeah, so it just so it makes each soldier feel, you know, more distinct and not just like a random face, right? Look at that. So many people, man. So that look that this guy looks like Joker and Harry Potter. Cool cool stuff. Ugh. We got Hideo himself, right? Um, I guess these are staff. I don't I'm not sure. With the Hideo there, that's 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 what I'm led to believe, right? Oh yeah. We got a uh, Shack, right? Underground base. Don't know what the fuck this is. This looks like a giant like aircraft carrier, like like the Avengers, but like Metal Gear. Yeah, the jungle. We got the like the path to the to the base, right? Oh yeah. Cool stuff. Got a train yard, right? Look at that. I think this is like the yeah, this is like the entrance and the like the insides of the rail yard, right? Ah, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Yep. This is <laughs> this is like the um the place where they're starting to build Metal Gear, right? Or uh, I don't know. Like, what is this? This is this is cool though. It's not in English, so some of this stuff I can't actually translate, right? I guess this is just per this is just like conceptual work that maybe was scrapped and not used, right? But uh, it's cool, you know. It's cool to see the process. We got a pit trap, you know. I guess these are like you know Sandinista tactics that they might have wanted to implement but didn't actually, right? We got a cave right here, cool stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm a guessing, I'm a guessing, I'm a guessing that this is a this is a conceptual. Before the game was made. Yeah, look at that. This kind of looks like the Ground Zero space. This is cool. Yeah, you got the... Like, the cave systems, right? Where the Sandinistas might have uh, taken shelter, right? Or maybe there's a secret experiment or some shit. I don't know. Right. Cool stuff, man. Ow. Yeah, I guess this is like this that was like the old chamber, right? Oh yeah, some some cool metal gear. 
designs, right? This is a boss design, right? These are, yeah, this is all conceptual work. This is all stuff that was like, you know, trying to just develop like what what we what we think the, the the thing would look like, right? Oh, this is cool. Like a church with a metal gear in it, right? That's cool shit. Meow. Here, here, go. Jump, jump. Ah. Ooh. Damn, boy. You got sharp ass nails, boy. God. Oh, thank God he's off my shoulder. All right. Anyway. Like I said, he's going to be part of the channel cuz I can't I can't avoid it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we have like a secret kind of like submarine thing coming out, right? Oh, I guess this is like a like a Japanese pause. You know, before she before they changed it, I guess, to a jungle setting. Yeah, this is cool. Shit found. Yeah. Yeah, these are just like some some cool little comics that were made before it was more developed, right? I guess this is like a this is a post torture scene, right? Oh, and I guess this is this is maybe Doctor Strangelove, and I guess he was male before, right? Oh, shit, hold up. Ow! 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 Oh, fucking Jojo, you've been stabbing me all day, dude. Anyway, yeah, we got more uh, bot designs. We got more Outer Heaven designs, right? Yeah, I guess this is the the start of Doctor Strange Love, and you know, like a cool little comic, right? <laughs> we got Snake with a cigar, the lollipop. Oh, him with a hat, you know. This kind of looks like a uh, Venom Snake a little bit. I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, it's like a menu design. Yeah. All right, we have the... Oh, I guess this is like early, very, very early... Um, you know, uh, designed for military Sanfia, you know. San Frontier, I guess. Ow! Bitch! Yep. I guess these are like little icon, little avatars that were for the PSP. I don't know who these guys are, but it feels like they're from like the Tales of, you know, Zephonia or whatever game. Here we go. More promotional work. I think this was used maybe in the store or on the guide, right? Yeah, cool stuff. Promotional stuff, probably. How to draw Shinkawa's art. Wow. Yeah, I think this was like a live... Um, yeah, a live art event, right? Where he... This is actually on YouTube. You could probably find it. Where he does like a little uh, painting on his own, right? If you guys can translate that. Yeah, it's really cool. Here we go. We have uh, his desk, right? Cool stuff. It's cool to see what you know what he does. We ha like, <laughs> wow, dude, this is such an artist desk, man. It's so messy. He's got a bunch of a bunch of anime shit, right? A bunch of statues and figures and shit. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, we're all the fucking same, man. These artists, man. Man, it's so fucking cool. Yeah, they have he he has like I think like little commentary bits on like the stuff that he has, his drawing tools, right? If any of you uh, read Japanese, you know, hope this uh, hope this in helps you. Yeah, here we go, and we got the final cover of the game, right, on the PSP, on the box, right, right, credits. Ooh, man, we got another long one, boys. 
an hour, maybe five minutes. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, I didn't realize this. So, originally in Japan, it's about 30 bucks, right? $29. You know, just like I said, the rule, decimal point right in the middle, right? For Japanese. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's no good. There we go. Okay, let me get to the wide. So, um, with that, guys, uh, like I said, this book, fantastic, you know? If you're a fan of the Metal Gear series, I highly recommend it, right? You know? Uh, and guys, please, remember, comment below, you know, talk about this art. Yoji Shinkawa, dude, one of my favorite artists, man. Really top shit, dude. Always love his work, you know? Talk about it. Talk about his work, you know? Uh, I want to get this to, to be, you know, a discussion channel, man. We start talking about this art, man, how you guys feel about it, you know? Even if it's good, good or bad, you know, things that you like, things that you don't like, right? I, I'll take all of it, man, because I just want art discussion, man, right? So anyway, guys, you know, leave a, leave a like, right? Leave a comment, like I said, right? Subscribe, all that bullshit, right? And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.